waiting for our bus to take us on a tour outside of Menai. We've heard amazing things about this place called Guantape. Not exactly sure as to what we're going to be getting up to, but let's find out. About two hours on the road, we have finally arrived to our first stop, which is La Piedra de El Peno, or the Rock of Guatape. It is estimated to be about 65 million years old, and at its peak up there, it is 200 meters high. However, just like an iceberg, two thirds of its height is actually below the ground. And now we're gonna buy some tickets to go and climb the 700 plus steps to go and enjoy the views from the top. We just paid for the tickets to go up, which is 25,000 pesos per person. So that's probably about eight Canadian probably about 650 US. The other thing that you have to know is you can't pay with card, you have to pay with cash only. But now that we have, time to go up. later we have made it to the top for our efforts we have been spoiled with views for days just take a look at this Once we had finished at the Rock of Guatape, we headed to the town of Guatape, which is located about 79 kilometers east of Medellin. Guatape is renowned for its brightly colored buildings that decorate the city, as well as the colored and dimension tiles, or zocalos, that line the lower facade of the majority. Each tile has a meaningful emblem showcasing the owner's culture, history, and beliefs. Just a smallest board of all of the very best bits that you can get around here. So 
you have chicharron, pork belly, beans, sweet plantain, egg, rice, tortilla, some avocado with salad, some chorizo, and honestly, it looks absolutely divine. I cannot wait to try it. After a tour of the city, we were taken on a boat ride in the El Peñol Guatape Reservoir. Guatape was primarily a farming community before Empresas Públicas de Medellín built a large hydroelectric complex in the area in the 1970s. The construction of a dam had a major impact on social, economic, political, environmental and cultural development in the locality. However, the neighboring town of El Peñol and rural parts of Guatape experienced devastating flooding, which resulted in the displacement of residents. Nowadays, this small town of under 7,000 residents is one of the top spots to explore here in the area of Medellin. It's 7.30 and we've just got back to our Airbnb after a very, very long full day tour, but it was so awesome to do. Guatape is kind of similar to Commune of 13 and how colorful the neighborhood is and how lively and vibrant it is. And it's also just surrounded by beautiful nature. So I really enjoyed myself. Being in somewhere that is so picturesque a setting is always a genuine pleasure and a privilege. So the fact that we were able to do that from here today was awesome. Definitely something we're always going to take away with us and we're really glad that you could join us on this journey. But obviously it's been a really long day, so we are quite tired. So we are going to turn in for the night, but we will definitely be catching up with you tomorrow. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling.